Yeah, so I actually sold my Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra earbuds and bought the the Jabra L10s. And uh, yeah, I had a I had a good reason. Let me prefix this by saying the Bose QuietComfort Ultras are the best. They are the leaders in terms of noise cancellation. And the reason I say this is because every earphone kind of cancels out certain frequencies of noise, but not a wider range. For example, you'll have certain earphones that would cancel out lower frequencies like bass and the, the, the noise of the engine, anything that's on a lower frequency, but high frequencies like babies crying uh, or people talking in a high pitch would not get cancelled out or vice versa. But the Bose and the AirPods too, for that matter, kind of have a bigger range or wider range in cancelling out more frequencies. So that's why they're great uh, for noise cancellation. What they were absolutely pathetic, and I'm saying they go from S tier right down to like the lowest tier possible is call experience. And the reason I say call experience and not just mic quality is because first of all, mic quality is hideous on the Bose. The opposite person just knew you were on some cheap earphones. So I inadvertently had to just pick up the call and answer the call like that. But it's also the call experience because for some reason, Bose, when you have a call or when you're on a call, it just reduces the volume for you. Completely. And there's no settings that you could do to alter this. I've tried, I've gone down rabbit holes on Reddit, but just, there is just no setting. So anyways, this, uh, the Jabra Elite 10s are quite good. They're not great for noise cancellation, uh, but they are one of those earphones that kind of uh, tick a lot of boxes and aren't great in any one category, but they are quite good overall in all categories. Uh, so they're not great in noise cancellation. They are not great in uh, mic pickups. They're definitely way better than the Bose, but not like the best in the market. But they're fairly decent in each category. I'm not going to rant on the specs. Uh, you can just kind of read the specs of the Elite 10s or anywhere on the internet. Or I'll just I'll just put it here. And you can just screenshot this because... But I just wanted to give you all my experience in using these. Now, these are great earphones in terms of uh, sound quality, very balanced sound. The app is very granular. You can adjust the sound pretty much the way you want it. My quality is, is, is decent. It's not as great as, uh, say, the AirPods, uh, but it's, it's not bad either. It's, it's decent. I didn't have to move to my phone to answer a call uh, anytime, to be honest. Uh, and the call quality for yourself is good as well. Uh, noise cancellation, it's great at lower frequencies like the engine sound on an aircraft, not great on higher frequencies. So babies crying and people talking in high pitch will come through. When I say the app is extremely good is, is because it kind of gives you the opportunity or the options to alter anything. For example, uh, it doesn't only give you the option to what does a single press or a double press or a triple press do, but it gives you that option to do it in each scenario. For example, what a single press, double press or triple press would do if you're receiving a call or what a single double and triple would do if you're already on a call or if you're listening to music. So it gives you those categories to alter these functions. And coming to functions, these, these actual physical buttons, right? I think they are the second best available. I would grade the worst being the touch controls like the Samsung Galaxy Buds or even the Bose have because you hardly touch your head or if you're sleeping or your hoodie touches it just it just does a function that you don't want it to so i think touch controls are the worst physical physical buttons are better than the touch controls because you don't have accidental touches all that much and also if you want to adjust your earbud you can just hold uh, the earbud around the button and adjust it but i think the best ones are the pitch pinch controls uh, the ones that the airpods and the oneplus has now remember when i said i really like the controls they're great, but there's just one thing that I would change, uh, or if I was Jabra, I would change the next variation, is the long press. The long press option uh, is only restricted to either the voice assistant or each earbud is volume up and volume down. What I would actually love it to do is to cycle between noise cancellation, uh, hear through and off, with like the AirPods or the OnePlus. Because uh, you can just do it on uh, the device rather than access your phone. So that's, that's because I think I'm more trained on the AirPods or the uh, OnePlus earbuds. Uh, but if that's not a problem for you, I think these are great earphones. Now, they cost 19,000. However, during the sale, I got them for 12,000 rupees uh, on Amazon. They really fluctuate a lot in price. Uh, so don't buy them on full price. Uh, but uh, on sale for 12,000 bucks, I think this is a steal, definite steal. 
A great battery life, by the way, definitely more than expected. They under promise and over deliver. So yeah, that's my uh, non-comprehensive review. I hope uh, this actually helps you in your purchasing decision if you're planning to buy these. Uh, I am on my way to pick up my uh, Aether Rista. Uh, I'm very excited about that. I bought the higher 3.9 volt, uh, the bigger battery uh, version. And I'm going to pick it up right now. If you aren't sub to the channel and would love content like this, would really appreciate a sub. Uh, and that's it for me. Thank you very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. Bye.